Welcome back to the Haas Online Training Series. In this session, we're going to take a look at the Market Making Bot. Now, the Market Making Bot is designed to take advantage of the spread between um, the buy and sell orders on the order book, and this is how it makes its profit. And now it's important to note that this bot is designed specifically around a sideways market and a slight uptrend market. And it could work for a slight downtrend market as well, but like with most things, um, trading in a bear market with this type of strategy is a bit difficult so let's go ahead and jump right into it now of course the first thing we have to do is log into the software which i've already done and before we actually create the bot i want to show you exactly how this strategy is going to work so we're going to take advantage of our market view here under features let's click that and what you're going to want to do is go to binance we're going to use ada btc click it and then right here click 15 minutes and that'll get you your chart and more specifically the order book now, the way this works is the market making bot, once it starts, is going to look at the current price um, right here, the current trading price. And it's going to look at the order books and it's going to place one order directly below the order or the, the price, which would be right here at 1067 and an order directly above at 1068. Now, you need both sides of the coin. So if you want to do, you know, 400 ADA for your market making, you need to have 400 ADA already. So you can put the sell order in and you need to be able to buy 400 ADA um, for your buy order. And the way this will work is once the buy is filled and then once the sell is filled, the market making bot will look again, look at the price, the current average price, and depending on the delay, put those orders in again. Now, obviously for ADA BTC, this isn't really a good spread. There is no spread. What we want is we want coins that have, you know, 20, 40, 50, 100, 200 Satoshi spreads. That way we can make some profit. Excuse me. At this rate, we will be um, losing money because we can't cover the fee. So not the best coin to explain with, but it's easy enough for me to show you. So let's go ahead, go to custom bots. Uh, Click the drop down here and click market making bot. And let's just go ahead, set it and hit add bot. Once you go ahead and click in here, you're going to get some very basic settings. And the, the interface is designed to make this very easy for you. So let's just go through it. We have the bot name, of course, the account we want to test with. In this case, it's our Binance, our simulated Binance account. And then the market ADA BTC. Now, information is important. It tells us what our current price is. Our, our current sell price, what our target prices would be, where our orders are going to be going. So in this case, since it's set um, to the default with no price offset, it's going to just set it to the current um, buy and sell order prices. And then the target spread is 0 0.1. You know, so what we're going to want to do is first we need to find a coin that has a large enough target spread, the 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s, the more the better for making money because that's how we're going to make it and then we need to actually set an amount so let's do for the sake of argument a thousand our price offset so this is what is the percentage down or up above the current price uh target or yeah the current prices so if i put this to two then you'll notice our target price has changed so now we have a spread of 44 and our target prices is 1044 and 1088 which is two percent um, above and below our current active buy and sell prices. So if let's say we have a coin we want to trade and we want to try to make money on a spread with, but it doesn't have a really tight initial spread, so its current trading spread isn't really tight or, or is really tight, we can set this price offset to still use the spot in that market. So let's say I know this coin always trades between you know 5% up and down, but I don't want to use a scalper bot. I want a very fixed percentage type bot. We can use the market making bot for this. The next thing is your maker's fees. So the market making bot always place limit orders. So it's always going to try to take a, a maker fee. Now it's important to note that depending on which exchange you're using, if they, if the order goes in and it's immediately filled, they might charge you the taker fee. So it really highly depends on what the order is, or the exchanges and how the order gets placed. So for our case, let's assume 0.1% and then our reset timeout. So our reset timeout is how long to wait before we make the next um, buy and sell orders. So this could be one minute, it could be five minutes, etc. Um, I'm going to leave mine to one minute. 
And now finally, we can use something called secondary orders. Now a secondary order sounds exactly like it is. It's placing another, another order based on our current target price. So if we do this, it will set it 2% lower than our current target price. So if we hit save, we can run a back test real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a one day hit start. Let's go open bot. And you'll see because of our spread, our spread was, wasn't good. The, we didn't make any money and mostly we didn't make money because of our fee costs. Our fees outweighed our gains, therefore uh, we, we made no money. So, but we can see how this worked by going to the analyzer, opening, whoops, wrong button. We open our analyzer, we open our charts, and we can see all the orders being placed. So the buy orders and the sell orders. And it's kind of difficult to see because the, what you need to remember is it's right, like right here, buy order, sell order, buy order, sell order and things get a little wonky with the chart drawing because of how many orders can occur in a minute. So what we can do is we can actually set our price offset. Let's just set this off to like six minutes. Hit save, run a back test, do it again. Now it doesn't improve our, ah, it doesn't improve our, our gains, but we can still see, we can start seeing it a little better. Now, like I said, the ADA is not a good, pair for this type of market. The spread's not enough to overcome our fee cost for the amount of orders we're putting in. Now, of course, there's different ways we can approach this. We can do bigger offsets. We can set a higher trade amount to try to get around the, or try to make enough profit to overcome our fee cost. But like anything else, it all comes with trial and error. So just keep in mind with the market making bot, your max is two orders. It's based on making money on the spread between your, your target prices and the current price and that's really it so look for sideways markets you're looking for slight uptrend slight downtrend since the the market making bot does actively um, look for the current uh, current prices and use that to determine its next price positions um, if you're looking for more features so more orders etc the flash crash bot definitely can do what the market making bot does and more with more feature sets and definitely look forward to that or look forward to a video on that coming soon anyways until next time as always if you have any questions you can leave them on the video below or join us on discord where you know we can talk or we can try to help you out thanks again until next time